Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're going to look at the only hacks challenge from Hack the Box. This is a uh, special Valentine's uh, themed release. Um, it's free, retired, which means you can put write ups out there and put out solutions. Um, I haven't actually looked at it too much yet. So um, here on the challenges section of the Hack the Box, it's marked very easy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start and see if I can do this one blind. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, the challenge description is dating and matching can be exciting, especially during Valentine's, but it's important to stay vigilant for imposters. Can you help identify potential frauds? Um, very easy web themed. So uh, I'm going to click start instance and get an instance. Um, with the web challenges, I haven't shown too many challenges on my blog or uh, on this channel before, but I'm actually going to get my own personalized host and port. So there's, there's no, there's, there's no, uh, I don't have a whole box to attack. I just have this one service on. So in my case, port 34,914. Uh, let's go check it out. Um, let's see. I need to open up. I'm going to open up Burp and Firefox here. And I will paste this in. Oh, let's see. Uh, we can update later. Next, start Burp. And we'll come here and give this a run. Oh. Um, so this would be a good time to talk. So when I do web stuff, um, I have, and I have a video showing how I set this up, but I have proxy set up for patterns. So I have, I have two. I have Foxy Proxy, the Firefox plugin, and I have two um, rules or proxies set up, Burp and uh, a Sox one. And the Sox one is like if I get, if I want to just uh, do a Sox proxy through SSH or through Chisel, um, then I can just tell Burp, hey, send everything through a Sox proxy on 1080. Um, but Burp is uh, on 8080 here, which, which is what Burp's default listener is. Now, if I click on Burp and uh, if I click on options and I go to pattern, let's see, um, Burp, here we go. So I have all these patterns set up that basically say, so then I can leave it in proxy by patterns here. And if it is visiting directly 10, 10, 10, something, 10, 10, 11, something, something dot star dot HDB or something dot HDB, 10, 10, 120, 10, 129, something, um, really any HTTPS by, um, IP address with a port after it, um, some bone land stuff. I think that's from, um, Hackman, if I remember correctly, uh, anything on localhost with a port, with a colon in it for the port. Um, Burp Suite, um, some holiday hack stuff, some more holiday, uh, I think it might be Hackbent, oh, Hackbent 2410. Um, in fact, here, anything on localhost. So basically, I have these rules set up, and anything that has these rules um, is going to send through Burp, and anything that doesn't, doesn't. And that way, I avoid getting all the annoying like connection checks, and if I try to go to Google, I don't have to turn it off, I just don't do anything. So now, what I can do, let's see, now, because this one has a port in it, it's going to load through Burp. Um, I get this page, and you can see, let's see, in here, in the proxy history, you can see the, the the requests are starting to come in, but I'm not going to see. Let's see. I bet this has just cheat. Look at yeah. So here it's loading like fonts.google API. So it's loading a font from Google, um, and we're not going to see that in here. So there's pluses and minuses to that. Um, it's just worth knowing how I've got my tools configured as I start to do things. Um, I like this because what it down allows me to do is get all the stuff going to the CTF boxes I'm targeting and not stuff going elsewhere. And so I can go I can go to Google and search for things, no problem. Um, but I and it doesn't fight with Burp, but then I can get my stuff in Burp. Uh, okay, so I got the site, only hack where love is the ultimate life hack. Um, I can try to like log in with admin admin. Um, didn't seem to work. No, kind of annoyingly, no no message, just but that's okay. Um, I could try like admin with some like simple SQL injections. Nothing seems to go there. Um, the other thing I always like to do here is take a break before we try to create an account. Is let's look at the HTTP responses. Um, so it is a re redirect to slash dashboard, but there's no server header here, so I don't get a good feel for um, what, you know, it doesn't say it's Apache or Nginx or anything else. Um, let's check, another thing that's always good to check, I like checking 404 pages. Um, so here's a 404 page, I will show you my metric, my, my reference for this. Whoa, there we go, let's see, oxdf.gitlab.io. I think I recognize what that is, but we will show, I got cheat sheets, 404 pages, and so we can literally search for not found. Let's see, that doesn't look like it. Um, whoa, can't see. Um, you know, let's cheat a little bit more and let's see. We get look for um, the requested URL was not whoa, was not found on this server. If oh, it's not. I have sworn this was going to be. I thought this was going to be a uh, flask. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. There must be a. No, no, fine. Just now. 
the requested URL was not. Here we go. Okay, the requested, requested URL was not found on the server. <laughs> Different. It's this server. Anyway, sorry, that's kind of a tangent, but you can see right here. In fact, this HTML right here matches this HTML exactly. This is straight from the Flask source. This is almost certainly a Flask website if it's not a website trying to act like it's Flask. And I don't know people that do that. So realistically, it's probably Flask. Um, okay, uh, let's go back here. Uh, we can also check uh, Wapil Wapilizer. Um, interestingly, it says it's Node, which is weird. I was expecting it to show me Flask. Um, I bet it's Flask. I'll, I, but I guess it could be Node, but I don't know why. It does, the, problem, the problem with things like Wapilizer is it doesn't tell me where it's getting that conclusion from. And so uh, I just have to sort of trust it. In this case, I disagree. So I'm going to say it's probably Flask. And who knows? We'll keep an eye on it. If we get to a point where we're doing like a server-side template injection or something that's uh, framework dependent, um, we'll certainly want to try looking at both those, see if we can figure it out. Uh, okay, all of that aside, let's come back here and we will sign up for an account. Uh, let's see. OXDF, OXDF. I need email, OXDF at AOL.com. Not my real email, but I like, AOL, like joking with AOL accounts. Uh, I'm 100 years old. I'm a hacker. Uh, I am male. What's this? Maybe it's what I, who I like. I'm going to say all just because uh, I want to get as much as possible. Um, do I have to put, see if I register that a profile picture? Username or email already exists. That's weird. Um, I don't know if Amro was giving me a shout out or. Hold on, I'm going to try something again. AOL, AOL.com, age 100, hacker, male, all. I'm going to give it a profile picture. Sure, this looks good. Lego man in the desert. And register. Yeah, that's funny. I think I. Yeah, I don't know. That that was weird. Um, I think I'm. I think that error might be wrong. Um, because there's no way that my there's no reason they would give me a shout out, particularly but make me a user. Um, so let's see. Um, so I'm in here. I've got some pictures on my dashboard. Uh, got matches, which I'm not showing any right now. Um, interesting. The dashboard shuffles every time I load it. Um, okay, let's see what's going on in Burp. Just, just check out our requests. Um, nothing super exciting going on here. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and like everybody because I want to see. It. And all right. Um, anything going on here? I'm posting to slash a link. Let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm giving a name. Oh, and liked person. I bet if I didn't like them. That post. Um, I'm supposed to like don't like or something. And we're on success. Uh, I can play with this a little bit. Let's see. If I give it a name that doesn't exist, put an extra A on there. Still says success. So I don't know. Um, we could try like SQL injection here. Two or one equals one. I'm not really even sure what I'm aiming for there, honestly. Try it and see if it does anything. Can I crash it at least? No, just says, it just says success. It seems to say success no matter what I do. Um, let's see if here do I have any, Oh, Matt, I got a match. Uh, Renata matched with me. I'm so glad we matched. Cool. Uh, me too. Do you talk? Um, all right, you don't respond. Okay. Um, let's see. Can we, uh, can we do you, um, I'm trying not to be like I'm trying not to be like ridiculously gross with this obvious bot here. Let's see. Um nice. Make some bold to me. Oh, oh, she does talk back. This means you say, I'm glad we connected with this. What brings you here today? I'm looking for some advice. Want to chat? Either way, I'm all ears. That's clever because she's got ears. Um just saying bold. Hi. Let's see if the bold goes through. Kind of curious to see if we can put HTML in here. Oh, it is. See how it's, uh, you might not, maybe that's not the best for video, but you can see that there. The high looks very bold. Um, oh, she bats eyelashes. Nice to meet you. Have an amazing day. Um, trying to sell, sell art. Okay. Um, I'm getting hustled. Well, whatever. Um, let's see what else we can do. Uh, will she click on a link? Um, so one of the challenges we get to deal with when we have web challenges. So I'm like, if I was doing like a hack box box, I would have, a um, I'd be on a VPN and like it just this host we will talk directly to mine. 
Um, but this is a host out on the internet right now, right? It's on this IP address, 94, 237, whatever. And if it wants to talk to me, it'd have to go through my ISP, which is possible. Um, but then it would have to hit my house, which has a NAT gateway sitting in front of it. And then that's actually, it's a little bit, there's a little bit more sitting back there. And then it'd have to make it to my computer and then into my VM. Um, and there's just, there's, there's just a series of places I'd have to set up. And so what's really nice is there's a handful of services out there. Um, like webhook.site, Pipedream. Um, the one I've been using lately is called uh, Request Bin. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, and it's really simple. Like, so you say, I, I want to create a request bin. And it gives you a, you are a URL right here. Like, this is my unique URL. Now, anyone who guesses this URL can see this. It's not my account or anything. It's just a public. Um, but let's see. If I come here and close you. Um, if I come here and you, they, what do they say? Let's, they say do a curl here, fizz equals buzz, Let's paste that in and run it. And uh, one annoying about the site, you gotta refresh it. It doesn't refresh on its own, but now here is a post from uh, my IP address three seconds ago. Um, post parameters, fizz, buzz, there's some headers. So it made the request, right? Um, so I can do things like, let's go back here to, where's my, where's my girl? Don't need you. Oh, I'm just a different. Um, oh, I love art. Check out what I made. I can click there and see if she replies, clicks on it at all. Um, the other thing we could do, um, let's see, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna break this out so we can kind of get this over here and we'll set this over here. Um, just your fun. Oh my goodness, your art is unique. Wow. So she's, this is cool. So there must be like an AI chatbot running on the other end because she is literally responding to it. Now she says she clicked on it. She said it's, but I don't have any additional, I don't have any additional requests. So I'm not sure she did. Um, that's kind of ridiculous because she's it's acting like she did. Um, check. Uh, let me see if I can get her to click on this. Uh, a href equals, put this here, and I'm going to put like um, num equals one at the end. And that way I've got something that, um, an identifier so I know which link she clicked on if she clicks. Say she, like she's a, she's a bot. Um, okay, so, and then we can say, Check out this and then minus a and you can't see it here because I've got yeah, some space at the end. So I it's just made a link. And if I click on this, yeah, so now, now it's actually a link. That's cool. So if I click it, oops, it went away and it just says okay. Not exciting, but um oh I lose my I lost my chat history. Oh, that's too bad. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, here, sweet. Um interesting. Is not showing up um HTML injected now, which it was earlier. So it's me again. Um, let's see, still just me. So still, still just me clicking here. So she's not clicking. Um, we could try. So we could try server side template injection. We also have, because we have HTML injection, um, I could try to uh, do some XSS here. So let's try like image source equals and put that in. Um, and I'll put a question mark. Uh, num equals m I don't, i'm just i'm just throwing something there to make it work uh and then i'll close like that um, and now this if i send it tried to load an image cool and it's going to fail if i come up here let's see um from me three seconds ago um huh is this ip really oh cool okay so this is it look um if you look right here, you can see this one has a referrer of 127.000.5000. So like this is coming in, it's interesting because it's not coming from that 94 IP, uh, but it must be coming out of Hack the Box infrastructure somewhere and landing here. And this is that image trying to load on the bot screen. Um, so that is definitely XSS. So let's see if we can turn that into, um, let's take a look real quick. If I do inspect storage here. Uh, HTTP only is set to false, which means the cookies are things I have access to um, via JavaScript. So we are going to do image uh, source equals x. That'll fail. So then we do on error equals, and I'll start with just something like alert one. Um, and then I will close the image and send that. And whoa, it worked. Okay, so we definitely have XSS. So let's go ahead and um, 
hopefully I didn't just break the bot. That that could have broken the bot. That might have been a dumb thing to do. I hate if I have to reset this because of that. But let's try um, on error equals uh, that. And I'm going to close it. So in here, I'm going to say fetch. And I'm going to put, hey, I better go grab this. Grab you again. And this time I'm going to say like that. Question mark cookie equals. Put some space in here so I can see it. Um, yeah, okay. I.e. And then I will close the single quote. And I'll do plus document dot cookie. That's uh, my space. There we go. Uh, document dot cookie. Um, <laughs> it's just something looks suspicious. She's getting suspicious of my my injections. That's awesome. Um, okay, so I've got that URL cookie. Let me. So she's still chatting. Let's see. I send that. And I refresh here again. Um, here is one with my referrer. And here is one. Oh, oh, I got a cookie right here. So you look, this is with the referrer of that, um, of localhost 5000. And I've got a cookie. I think I just stole her cookie. Yeah, not her. It's cookie. Um, so let's come in here. We'll come back here and uh, okay, let's, let's inspect storage. Set the session to hers and click on only hacks to go back to go back to the main page here. Uh -huh. Boom, there's the flag. So uh, now I'm logged in as the bot, as her. You can see uh, her slash it talking to me and there's all of the stuff I'm sending that's coming in from me. And then uh, here is another message from Demetrius and uh, got the flag. Um, that was actually, not, it, was, it was a very easy web challenge, but it was kind of fun to talk through and do live. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for the day. Um, kind of different to see this. Let me know if you enjoy seeing uh, challenges made into videos um, or uh, if this was worthwhile. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.